Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leora Alexandra. Welcome to the Baby Elephant community. On this channel, we talk about spirituality, self-development, law of attraction, and more. So many of you have been asking me to do a video on breathing techniques, which I spoke about on in my uh, law of attraction, how I cured my depression and anxiety video. I spoke about how breathing exercises was one of the things that helped me to cure my depression and ease my anxiety. These days, as you guys know, I've been needing them a little bit more than usual, so I thought that it's a good time to tell you about them. I do want to give a disclaimer. The techniques I'm about to show you guys today, today and talk to you guys about today, they come from the Hindu culture. So I don't want to offend anybody because I'm going to be saying words wrong. I'm going to say them as best as I can. I looked them up and I'm sure that I'm still going to butcher them, but I'll try. It's Sanskrit and it's beautiful, but it's a little difficult for me. Also, I learned these at USC at the University of Southern California in a yoga class that I took, which was like foundational yoga. And we really learned about the history of yoga and its roots in Hinduism and all of that. So this is in reverence of the Hindu culture, in reverence of yoga culture. And I'm really not trying to offend anybody. So I hope that you just see this as me respecting and revering the culture. So these breathing exercises that we're going to talk about today are called pranayama. Um, and I would argue that they are the most important part of yoga. The breathing is the most important part of yoga because it connects your soul to your mind, to your body. Pranayama breathing techniques, they bliss you out, they energize you, and they have a whole host of studied health benefits. I really urge you to try any of these, to turn to these when it feels like nothing else will help. It seems like it's such a small thing to do, you know, just breathe a little differently, but consider the fact that breathing is the reason why humanity exists. It is the basis of everything. We breathe in order to live. So maybe we don't give breathing enough credit. Perhaps just breathing in specific patterns or in different ways can actually heal our bodies and our minds. So it might not seem like much, but you'll see that these three little breathing techniques garner so many health benefits. Before we get into the breathing techniques, I want to offer you guys some new affirmations that I've adopted into my daily life that I think that you'd like because I haven't done this in a while. I haven't given you guys new affirmations. So if you resonate with any of them, take write them down and add them into your practice. I recommend saying them in the morning, at night, while you're doing other things, just saying them to yourself out loud or thinking them over and over again, allowing them to really sink into your subconscious mind and create changes in your actual reality in your life. Incorporating affirmations into your daily schedule can be such a vibe raiser and such an energetic and confidence boost. It can improve your mood. It can just make you an overall happier, healthier, more calm person. So I'm going to offer you 11 affirmations today and they are I am loved. I am lovable. I am capable of loving deeply. I am worthy. I am enough. Every day is a blessing. I am so grateful for everything. I am happy that miracles are manifesting in my life. My heart is open to happy situations. My soul is strong. I trust in divine timing. I'll write these in the description below. If you liked any of them, write them down. They're 11. 11 is a good amount of affirmations to take on and just say them to yourself. Now I'm going to teach you three different pranayama exercises. There are so many, but these are the ones that really stuck with me from class. And these are the ones that I actually use myself whenever I'm feeling anxious, uh, stressed out, depressed, or overwhelmed. Sorry if you can hear my neighbor, I think that they're wrestling again. So I personally feel relief, immediate relief from all three of these techniques, but if you try them and you see that you don't, and if you try them several times and you just don't, Feel it. I urge you to look into pranayama and find something that um, that works for you because there's so many different types. So one warning I do have is I would not do any of these while driving. I've done it before and I got super lightheaded and had to pull over. You can get really, really calm, really blissed out, and super lightheaded too if you if you're doing a lot if you're doing it a lot. So I recommend waiting until you park and also not while operating heavy machinery. First pranayama technique I'm going to share is the Nadi Sod Sodhana or Anulam Vilum or alternate nostril breathing. 
For some reason, whenever I look into the description of this technique, it seems so complicated, but it really doesn't need to be complicated. It's super easy. So it clear this technique clears nadis, which are the energy passages in the body. And it does this by cleansing, stimulating, and balancing the right and left nostrils. So to practice this one, you want to be sitting somewhere comfortably, or you can do it wherever you need it. If you're in class or at the office and you just got to chill out, you can do this wherever. That's why these breathing techniques are awesome because you're just breathing. They might look a little weird, especially the last one, but essentially all you're doing is breathing. What you're going to do is you're going to take your left palm and you're going to place it facing down on your knee, just resting down on your knee and you're only going to be using your right hand. What you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and you're going to place your thumb against your right nostril and then you're going to inhale deeply, slowly and silently through the left nostril. Once you have the air in, you're going to switch over, you're going to hold down the left nostril with your pinky and you're going to breathe out from the right and then you're going to breathe in from the right and then move over and do breathe out from the left so it looks something like this so palm down and then a regular breath and then Now that wasn't so silent because I'm a little congested. You might be congested also and you might be making a noise. This will actually help with the congestion. So, and then you just keep going back and forth about 10 times. I already feel really good, <laughs> I swear. I feel like they drop bombs. Like, I don't know what they do up there. So you do it for about five breaths on, five breaths on the right, five breaths on the left so that it's 10 switches and this technique enhances your overall health it's a natural energizer with regular practice it's been shown to alleviate depression and even things like asthma and uh, arthritis it's really good to practice it if you have a migraine as well now the next one i cannot remember for the life of me but it's one that i use all the time whenever i need it so i have to share it with you so if anybody knows what this one is called let me know or something similar because i just could not find it but i remember how to do it from class and i've just it's really stuck with me and it's really helped me through some tough, tough situations. This breath is done to optimize cooperation between the two uh, brain hemispheres. It powerfully calms down anxiety, worry, and fear. And it's a great way to open your heart and your spirit and to feel more intuitive as well. This breath always makes me feel very connected, very like one with everything. With repeated use, you will lessen your anxiety. You will deal with stress and worry better and your intuition will develop. I do this wherever I need it, whenever I need it, expect except if I'm driving but when I learned it I learned to sit in a half lotus position which is just like this like over that or the other one look that up it's yoga this breath what you do is you're going to fill up your diaphragm fill up your belly with air keep breathing 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 through your nose until you feel like you can't breathe anymore and when you're at that point you sniffle in a little bit more air and then you count either three seconds to eight seconds so whatever however long you can hold your breath and then when those three seconds or five seconds or eight seconds are done, you slowly breathe out through your nose until you have all the air out of your diaphragm, all the air is out of your body, and then try to take out a little bit more air. And then at the bottom of that breath, you don't take another breath, you count three seconds or five seconds or eight seconds, and then breathe again slowly. So it looks something like this. And I just do that until I calm down. I don't usually count like that. I just kind of hold my breath for as, however long I can, let it out, hold my breath, breathe, 
and it's honestly such a blessing to do this one it just calms you down so much it gives you clarity and everything just seems to like make sense again so i really recommend that one let me know if you know what it's called the last one i want to talk to you guys about today is called um the stimulating breath or bellows breath or bastrika bastrika there's no way I'm saying that right, I'm sorry. With this breath, you're going to raise your vital energy and increase alertness. So do this if you have some brain fog. It increases prana or life force in your, in your body and energizes your mind. So do this if you experience you know, mental fogginess, brain fog, if you feel stressed out, if you can't make a decision, if you feel hazy or if you're moving in slow motion, this is a really good breath for that. Bellows breath also increases metabolism and helps digestion, which is why I'm going to start doing it a lot more often. Where you do, you sit up tall, you relax your shoulders, and you start by taking a few deep breaths in and out, out of your nose. Now, you want to feel your stomach moving up and down your diaphragm. You're taking the air into your diaphragm here. So everything else, your shoulders, neck, everything stays still while your stomach expands. And then this one looks funny. So this one you might want to do in pri private. <laughs> Unless you don't care. So once you've gotten the hang of breathing in and out and filling up your diaphragm, what you want to do is you want to force air in and out of your diaphragm. So it's gonna it's something like this. Yeah. That one's intense. I swear, it's really intense. You feel the prana in your body from it. It looks really funny, but it's gonna re-energize you. It's gonna clear your mind. And if I wasn't showing this good enough because my stomach's not showing enough in the thing, basically your diaphragm just goes in, out, in, out, in, out. You can look up other vid videos. Just look up Bellow's breath. You're gonna see it everywhere. Other people do different things. They do like... Okay, and other things like that. I look crazy. I hope nobody means this. I recommend trying all three of these whenever you need them. Do them a few times. If any of them work for you, keep doing them. I think that they're all wonderful. If they don't work for you, look into pranayama and find other types of breathing techniques. Just think to yourself how important the breath actually is. Okay, my camera died. But what I was saying is that I think that the, the Eastern medicine really incorporates the natural um, workings of our body, of the human body, into their medicine. While the West often does forget about that, like maybe breathing techniques can cure our mental illnesses. Maybe breathing can cure different illnesses in the body. Why not, you know? Why not? We breathe to live, so that's it for me today. Um, tell me if you tried one of these, if you liked one of them, please comment below. If you haven't gotten the chance to try it, just comment one of the affirmations that you liked or an affirmation that you've been using. Affirm with me below. I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe right now and give this video a thumbs up to support the channel. It could use it. The YouTube overlords have not been happy with me lately, if you can't tell. But I know it'll get better. It always does. I love you guys. Until my next video, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. By the way, this is my last video. I'm recording this right before um, getting my wisdom teeth pulled out. So, hmm. This will be... Keep me in your thoughts.